Project Accounting Enhancements in Acumatica 2017 R2. There are several project accounting enhancements in the next release of Acumatica. In this demonstration, we'll be reviewing the project budgeting structure. The project budgeting structure in 2017 R2 allows you to define and view budgets at the project level instead of at the task level. This makes it easier to create projects, and in addition, it has the feature that allows you to link expenses to specific revenue budgets for simplified reporting. The overall structure works with the new billing model to help greatly streamline project creation and make using Acumatica projects much easier. The project still connects to tasks as it did before, and tasks can be associated with revenue and cost budgets. What's new is that the project can now input and view revenue budgets as well as cost budgets directly. In addition, cost budgets can be linked to a specific revenue budget. To demonstrate, let's create a new project, which is going to be a service-oriented project with multiple tasks. In this case, we're going to use a template to help with the setup. And you'll notice that my template has three tasks. It's got a fixed price analysis and estimate, and there's going to be a certain amount of cost revenue, and budget that goes along with that. The installation, if the client decides to go forward, will contain all the costs, and then there's a final bill which will contain the contract amount that's agreed upon after step one. Now previously, we'd have to go into each task ID in order to set the budgets. With the new template, it makes it much easier because I can go in and look at my revenue budget. I can see that the project estimate fee is $500 and that the contract amount is expected to be $10,000. Within the cost budget, each specific project task can be linked to a specific inventory item and account group, and a budget can be provided at the task level on a single screen. Also, I can go in and link the specific cost items to an individual task and revenue item. That will make it much easier for doing reporting and other sorts of things. So let's say I'm in discussions with my client and they determine that they want to go in and do something a little extra. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to add 20 hours to that budget and another 20 hours to my senior labor budget as well. And maybe I can also even go in and add some additional material. Now within one screen, I don't have to switch to a different task anymore. I can go in and take the, my contract amount and I can extend that to additional, an additional amount of $3,000 to cover the additional cost. All that was much easier to accomplish because I didn't need to navigate to the different tasks to do it. You'll also notice on the tasks menu, there's the ability to activate several tasks at once if you need to do that. In this particular case, I might not do that uh, because I want to proceed with the estimate before I go through with the installation and final bill. And just like that, I've created an active contract, I've linked costs to budgets, and activated it so that I can begin operations. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.